The B1M dubbed it Texas Failed Mega Bridge. Headlines screamed about billion dollar blunders and construction nightmares. The new Harbour Bridge in Corpus Christi, once a symbol of Texas-sized dreams, found itself mired in controversy and setbacks. From design flaws to soaring costs, it seemed destined to become another abandoned megaproject. But now things have taken a turn for the better, and the Texas failed megabridge is back on track. We'll explore the challenges that threatened to derail the project and the engineering feats that brought it back on track. But first, Let's meet the project. The Harbour Bridge project is a major initiative in Corpus Christi, Texas, with a goal to replace the current bridge with a modern cable state design, set to change the infrastructure in the best way possible. It's supposed to be 1,661 feet long, over five and a half football fields. The total length of the bridge, including approaches, is approximately 10,820 feet, over two miles. The bridge towers will have bases the size of two basketball courts, and the bridge will use over 862 miles of cable strands. Once completed, the New Harbour Bridge will be the longest cable-stayed concrete segmental bridge in North America. It will also be the tallest structure in South Texas. And if it's completed before the Gordy Howe International Bridge, it will briefly hold the record for the longest cable-stayed span in North America. Check out our video to learn more about the Gordie Howe International Bridge. But why is this new bridge being built in the first place? Well, the current Harbour Bridge was built in 1959 and is a through arch design. It's nearing the end of its 50 to 60 year design life. Because when it was built, it was not cut out for larger ships accessing the port of Corpus Christi. This port has grown to become the largest port in the US in terms of total revenue tonnage. In 2021, a record-breaking 167 million tonnes of cargo moved through the port. It facilitates $16.9 billion in trade annually and provides 13,770 direct jobs. It is a major exporter of petrochemicals and energy products. The new bridge will provide 205 feet of clearance above the Corpus Christi ship channel, which will allow much larger ships to access the port than the old bridge's 138 feet of vertical clearance. And that's why Texas needs a mega bridge. The concrete segments of the new bridge are estimated to have a lifespan of 170 years, nearly two centuries of service. That's more than double the old one's lifespan. The New Harbour Bridge project has been in the works since way back in 2003, but construction only kicked off in August 2016. And that's because the scale and complexity of a project of this magnitude requires extensive upfront work before shovels can hit the ground. Texas had to do the full planning, design, engineering, environmental assessments, funding and procurement processes before construction could finally start and the original completion date was set to 2020. That date has long gone. The new completion estimation date is set for 2025. But what happened? Let's find out. Before we continue, let's take a moment to talk about an important aspect of well-being. Mental health. Maintaining mental health is just as crucial as physical health, and seeking help should be accessible and straightforward. That's why we're excited for this video to be sponsored by BetterHelp, an online platform providing professional therapy services. BetterHelp offers a convenient way to access therapy from the comfort of your home. Whether you're dealing with stress, anxiety, or any other mental health challenge, BetterHelp connects you with licensed therapists who can support you. The process is simple. Fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a therapist, and in most cases, start your sessions within 48 hours. BetterHelp is flexible. You can schedule sessions at your convenience and choose video calls, phone calls, or messaging. If you feel your therapist isn't the right match, you can easily switch at no extra cost. Join millions who have taken a step towards better mental health with BetterHelp. Visit the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com forward slash megabuilds for 10% off your first month and support our channel. Back in 2019, 
a major stop was put on construction, all because another pedestrian bridge collapsed in Florida in 2018, tragically killing six people and injuring 10 others. You might ask what a pedestrian bridge in Florida has to do with a Texas mega bridge. Well, when the National Transportation Safety Board conducted a review, they found that Fig Bridge Engineers Inc. was to blame. As it turns out, the same company was in charge of the design work on this bridge. By November 2019, the official decision was made. Construction was to be suspended. A new engineering firm had to be hired to review the previous designs and calculations before any construction could resume. Finally, in July 2020, the developer designated Arap CFC as the new engineer firm behind the project. They didn't think the project needed any major changes. However, construction didn't start again until August 2021. Just when there seemed to be steady progress towards the goal, there was another stoppage. In July 2022, a review by International Bridge Technologies, ordered by TX DOT, found serious design flaws in the new Harbour Bridge. These flaws were found in five main areas. First, there were problems with the bridge's foundation. The pylons, supported by massive concrete slabs and deep shafts, might not hold up under certain conditions like strong winds. Other than that, the pile caps, which are supposed to distribute the weight of the bridge, had deficiencies that could lead to collapse under specific load conditions. Next, the delta frames, which help support the bridge from underneath, had design defects. This could cause cracks and weaken the structure. And as if that wasn't enough, there was a problem with uplift at the intermediate piers. Instead of holding the bridge down, the weight could cause the structure to rise, leading to other big problems. As the last nail in the coffin, the way cranes were set up during construction exposed the bridge to excessive stresses, which could lead to twisting and many other issues. But you know what? In one way or another, this detour was kind of needed for the bridge's long-term safety and success. After all, it was these stoppages that allowed for thorough investigations and solutions before something ended up costing lives. Now, with these challenges addressed, the Harbour Bridge project is back on track. Sure, the original completion date of 2020 was pushed back to 2025, and the budget increased from around $800 million to nearly $1 billion due to delays and redesigns. But with these issues behind us, there's a renewed sense of optimism, and everything's looking better than ever. We can look forward to the successful completion of this massive infrastructure project. After the issues were detected, things quickly got back on track. In August 2022, TX.DOT called out the major contractor, Flatiron Dragados, to fix the safety problems. Fast forward to October, and TX.DOT gave the green light to their solution for one of the big issues, letting work resume by the end of the month. Then, in November 2023, the two sides finally settled their differences with a $400 million agreement, clearing the path to finish the project. Let's dive into the specifics. First, the plan was to extend the footings next to the tower legs. You might wonder why. Footings are like a house's foundation. Extending them next to the tower legs adds more stability, which is very much needed for a structure like this that will bear heavy loads. Also, more drilled shafts will be added to each tower. These deep pillars go underground to provide extra support so that the towers can withstand more pressure. And if you think that was all, you're not even close. The plan also includes reinforcing the concrete joints between the delta frame and the precast segments. Tension strains in the superstructure will be monitored as well to catch any potential issues early. But what's the progress so far? By November 2022, work on the bridge had partially resumed with a focus on foundation enhancements and delta frame connections. By October 2023, significant progress had been made, foundation work, pylons were being extended with additional drilled shafts to ensure stability, footing caps were also being reinforced, concrete segments. Precast concrete segments were being transported from the Robstown yard and placed on the approach viaducts and pylons. Main span segment casting was still in progress. The north approach was 81% complete and the south approach was 87% complete. 
Roadworks were also coming along nicely with 91% and 84% finished for the north and south approaches respectively. Utilities were 95% complete. FDLLC reported that the concrete approach segments were done and the main span segment casting was 59% complete, with the delta frame casting at 77%. Meanwhile, the old harbour bridge was getting a facelift with a fresh coat of paint that started in February 2023 and was set to be finished by summer 2024. As for those design issues, they were being tackled one by one. To address the inadequate capacity of the pylon drilled shafts, more shafts will be added at the north and south pylons so the pylons can handle the weight and forces acting on them. To fix footing cap deficiencies related to the pylon's proximity to the edge, extensions will be added to increase foundation capacity and edge distance. For the delta frame design defects, capacity will be enhanced by roughening the concrete surfaces and adding rebar that spans the interface. There are still concerns about uplift at intermediate piers remaining unresolved and no work has started yet. This issue was still under discussion, but a fix was on the horizon. By July 2024, the project was hitting major milestones. Towering achievements, the North Tower's upper lifts were finished and the South Tower wasn't far behind. Connecting the dots. Cable stay installation was in full swing, a crucial step in supporting the bridge deck paving the way. Concrete segments were being meticulously placed on the approach spans and the road deck was starting to take shape. It's safe to say that the bridge is currently on track for a spring 2025 completion. So without any doubt, the new Harbour Bridge project in Corpus Christi has seen its fair share of challenges and delays, but it's finally projected to be completed in spring 2025. The delays also pushed the project's budget from an initial estimate of $930 million to nearly $1.2 billion. But this almost failed bridge is no joke. The current Harbour Bridge with its 138-foot clearance is outdated and can't accommodate the largest ships now serving the port of Corpus Christi, a very important one for Texas and the United States of America. The new bridge, providing 205 feet of clearance, will allow these bigger cargo ships to pass without resorting to complex ballasting techniques. This is a huge plus for the local economy, and the advantages are never-ending. The new cable-stayed bridge design is expected to be much safer and more durable than the current through-arch bridge. Not to mention improved mobility is on the horizon. The new bridge will feature six traffic lanes plus a bicycle and pedestrian path which will greatly improve traffic flow compared to the current four-lane bridge. This means less congestion and smoother commutes for everyone. Not to forget, the new bridge's modern cable-stayed design is expected to have lower long-term maintenance costs compared to the aging current bridge. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all the latest developments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.